post St. Louis thoughts as you head into the next uh, game? You know, watch watch that game multiple times now. It was uh, it was disappointing. Now we knew they were a good team. They beat Seton Hall. Seton Hall just knocked off Kentucky. They beat Butler. We knew it was going to be a challenge. Um, disappointing from the fact that we prepared for a physical game and we didn't respond real well. Uh, uncharacteristic turnovers, turning it over 17 times never helps. Um, and then we didn't shoot it well. You know, coming off a game where we shot it very, very well, uh, it was a little bit of a letdown. We didn't shoot it better on the road. And, but um, defensively, probably, you know, we let some one guy get four threes, another guy get three. <coughs> Excuse me, that's two games in a row where guys have hit multiple shots on us. And, and we've got to be better at recognizing when a guy gets it going. Even though percentages may say he's not a great shooter, we've got to adjust out there on the court. <coughs> All that being Excuse said, me. you're down 12 late and you come back and actually take the lead. A lot of positives in the game. Um, they really did a good job of taking Trace out in the first half. Trace had a good second half, got to the rim, got to the free throw line, made some big threes. Ethan had a really good game for us. Um, Zach Breiker with some great hustle plays. But then I thought we got a good lift from uh, from Warren and, and Jack. They got some valuable minutes in a tough environment, which is going to be very beneficial moving forward. But We've got to get better production from a couple of guys, and, and our leaders need to lead when we're on the road. The guys need to make plays for us. We, we, we felt like we let that one go. Uh, we said afterwards it's going to be very, uh, I think it's going to be a great experience to draw back on when we get in a conference play and we're heading out on the road. But coming back in that environment down 12 says a lot, but now we got to find a way to slam the door. Coach, how tough was it to get over Kyler and get those two fouls early and other guys that had you know, foul trouble? That was early. big. That was big. You know, not having G hurts, obviously, our first road game without him, especially when he's our most physical post presence. Uh, and we told our bigs, you can't get in foul trouble. Now, it's easy to say, especially when you're talking about guys that are, are inexperienced. But we got some silly fouls early. We said save your fouls to protect the rim, following guys at the rim, and not any ticky-tack stuff. And unfortunately, we got some ticky-tack fouls from Kyler and Warren. And, um, you know, it changed it changed the dynamics of our rotations and who we thought we, were, we could play over the course of the game. Do you like the the whole idea of the damn city classic taking the team to portland and playing in front of that fan base i think it's great you know the fact that uh, we get to go up there and and really give back to our fans that you know we draw a lot from from the portland area to play in the moda center you know is exciting for recruiting exciting for our players um, you know that's something that we can really push uh, and the relationship we've developed with the blazers with the moda folks with the rose quarter people um, has really been nice uh, a nice deal for our program so it's going to be a tough game. It'll be our toughest opponent in the damn city, Texas A&M. I know they're three and four, but look at who they played. And, and they've got a young team, but very talented. So it's going to be a heck of a challenge, but something that we know is going to is really going to be good for us moving forward. Another physical game? Uh, physical, but probably more athletic mm -hmm. than, than what we've seen physically from like St. Louis and Missouri, but uh, a very a very good test athletically for Is sure. It, is there any update on G or more of the same? No, more of the same. Haven't gotten any 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 news uh, to other than what we've known. So, how does Peyton uh, fit in fit in with this group? Uh, fits in great. I mean, he's got an unbelievable personality. He's one of the guys' favorite teammates. Um, it's a shame that we don't have the fruits of that on the court come game time. But uh, you know, he and his dad, they, we couldn't bring him on the trip. They flew themselves to St. Louis because they wanted to be a part of it. Um, he's really ingrained himself into this club and. Uh, I know the guys are looking forward to the day when he can get out there and really start helping us. How have you seen him deal with, uh, you know, since learning that he wouldn't be able to play? It's been play? tough. I mean, he's been through a lot, that kid, and it, it's hard on him. We've been, we've had concerns at times to, you know, his well-being with it all because it was such a letdown. You look across the country and it seems like everybody's getting handed waivers mm -hmm. for whatever excuse that they can come up with. And here's a guy that's got a real legitimate one. and. Um, you know, he was shot down, but we're going to continue to grind and see if maybe uh, we can't get something changed on that front in the next week or two. And if not, you know, we'll, we'll just have to plan on putting him to use uh, down the road. What sort of uh, explanation were you guys given at all? Uh, you know, just really kind of a blanket denial, you mm -hmm. know, that maybe he just didn't have enough of, uh, of a reason, I guess. So, but, uh, you know, we got a list of all the people that were granted waivers and what their reasons were. And, you know, we, we just think that there's way too much ambiguity there on, on what they're accepting and what they're not. So disappointing process. It's got to be cleaned up, um, you know, on all fronts moving forward for sure. It sounds like you guys aren't letting this rest yet. Nope. No, no, we're still, he's, you know, they've hired an attorney. They're putting together all kinds of 
there's things that he couldn't put in his first waiver because of circumstances that now he can. So we hope that helps. Moving uh, ahead to this weekend, how important is it to bounce back after the St. Louis game and, you know, against a really good team, what we expect from your yeah. team this week? No, it's, it's, yeah, it's a great challenge. Uh, you know, we, we lost early to Missouri. We bounced back within two days and had a great performance against Penn. We've got to do the same now with three or four days to prepare for a good Texas A&M team. So we'll call on our leaders to lead and there's some things we've got to get better at defensively and offensively. And it's all about building towards conference play. So this is just one more step.